All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go again, another breakdown for you guys. All right, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Eric, and I'm on a mission to make sure that this MCAT is as easy as possible for you guys. Because you're a pre med, okay, you have a lot going on, and the MCAT shouldn't be this big, huge obstacle. All right, you guys have been told that the MCAT is hard. When it's really not. The MCAT is easy, okay? It's easy. When you go through these passages, when you go through my videos, you'll notice a common theme. I'm not stressed, okay? It's easy. It makes sense. A lot of it makes sense, all right, when you do the right things. And these right things I'm going to show you in this video. You will have crystal clarity on exactly how to read the passage, where to highlight, how to pick the best answer, how to not get lost in the details. I will show you guys everything that you need to know to hit that 132, okay? In this video, I'll show you exactly everything. All right, so pay attention. A lot of information, a lot of value coming up, all right? So, as always, guys, go and read this passage on your own first, all right? So, read the passage on your own first. Pause it whenever you need to. Answer this questions, answer these questions, I'm sorry, on your own first. You know, pause it whenever you need to. All right, if you guys want to access to this, it's a free blueprint exam. Just make a blueprint account and you get the free exam. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and break this down. Pay attention. Here we go. Let me sip my water. I've been talking so much. Terpenes. Did you know what terpenes are? Terpenes have been found to be essential building blocks of complex hormones and molecules, pigments, sterols, and even vitamins. I know this already, so I don't need to highlight this. Okay, I'm pretty confident in this. Terpenes also play an incredibly important role by providing protection from bacteria and fungus. I didn't know that, so I'm going to highlight that. That struck out to me. All right, whatever strikes out of you, you highlight it. Terpenes have a basic structure of repeating isoprene or C5H8N units, and they are grouped according to the number of these repeating units. I know this already from my content. I don't need to highlight anything here. Also, the pace that I go through this passage is the pace you should be going at your passage in your FLs as well. Okay, notice how it's not crazy fast. Notice that's a regular pace that's a little slowed down so I can fully understand the words and details. All right. Monoterpenes contain two isoprene units. Examples include menthol and pinene. Vitamin A1, a diterpene, contains four isoprene units. Cool, I didn't know that. Research has revealed the isoprene rule, which states that adjacent isoprene units and terpenes are linked preferentially between carbon atoms located at opposite ends. So they like to be opposite and have head-to-head -head and tail-to-tail -tail connections are rare exceptions to this rule. Okay, so that, that's how they like to be linked. Opposite ends, but these two are exceptions. Okay, they give us some figures. We don't look at those. We only look at those when the question asks for it. Let's keep going. In human metabolism, beta-carotene A, a 40-carbon terpene, is utilized as a precursor for the synthesis of vitamin A. Cool. This beta carotene precursor for vitamin A. Cool. Retinal is a key intermediate in vitamin one biosynthesis. You should know that. You should be familiar with that. The biosynthetic pathway by which retinal is synthesized in vivo from beta carotene has been identified by using specifically radioactive 18 labeled oxygen and 18 radioactive labeled H2O. Okay. These pathways here, these organic chem pathways, they're very, very common on the MCAT. Unfortunately, sorry guys to break it to you, but these are very common. This is on my MCAT, and this is on the MCAT of mainly the students that I tutored, okay? So get familiar with these. All right, passage, pretty simple. I knew majority of this stuff already from content. You should know it as well. Um, they gave us some pathway here, nothing too crazy. Let's go into the questions, all right? It's easy. I don't know where you guys think the MCAT is hard. It's easy, okay? Which of the following reagents could be used to complete the final step of retinol synthesis shown in figure two? Oh man, can this get any easier? What's the final step? This is the final step. Retinol to retinol. And what do they use? NADH. I don't know if... They don't tell me if NADH is used and out comes out NAD+. Or does NAD+, use and out comes NADH? Why don't they tell me that? Well, they do give me E2 as well. Retinol 
dehydrogenase. Okay, that tells me that we're going to do an oxidation reduction reaction going on. But I don't know if it's ox. Oh, here we go. Okay, look at the aldehyde here. O to OH. What happens here? We're reducing that retinal to retinol. All right. Oxidizing means adding more oxygens. Reducing means, you know, getting rid of the oxygens, putting more hydrogen bonds. Okay. So if we're reducing, what's a reducing agent? This one's a reducing agent. You should know. This is straight up content review. You should know. Easy. Easy organic chem. Basic stuff. What the hell? Come on. Which of the following biological substances are likely derived from terpenes? Terpenes, okay, you could uh, you could go back. I don't need to go back because I know that terpenes, okay, if you know from your constant review, terpenes, they go and make uh, cholesterol. And cholesterol goes and makes steroid hormones, okay? So what are the steroid hormones here? Aldosterone is a steroid hormone, so that is something that's derived from terpenes. Glucose is not a hormone. Insulin is a hormone, but it's a water-soluble hormone, okay? Terpenes make <clears throat> um, steroid hormones, lipid hormones, not this, okay? Estrogen is a steroid hormone. The only steroid hormones I see is aldosterone and estrogen. Therefore, these are the only ones that terpene makes. So the answer is one in four, which is D. Very confident in my answer choices. You guys have to be confident on the MCAT. Believe in yourself. You can do this, Okay. It's not that hard. Like, like how I'm showing you right now, this is a blueprint exam. Blueprint's known to be quote unquote harder. Okay. So let's keep going. The enzyme listed in step one of the retinal synthesis listed is most likely classified as a. Here's step one E1 beta carotenine 1515 monooxygenase. What's it doing here? We are adding an oxygen. So we're oxidizing. Okay, we're oxidizing something. Transferase, no. That is usually involved in like, the kinase is a type of transferase. Okay, so that's not it. We're not transferring anything. Lyase, we're not breaking anything. Isomerase, we're not isomerizing anything. Oxoreductase, yes, we are oxidizing. Therefore, answer is D. Easy. A researcher seeks to monitor the conversion of retinal to retinol using infrared spectroscopy. Which of the following would indicate their reaction is complete? All right, you guys should know this. All right, retinal is an aldehyde group. Aldehyde has a carbonyl, okay? Retinol is alcohol, it has a hydroxyl. An aldehyde group that has, if I remember, that has 1700 to 1750 around there, that has um, a peak in that region. And the retinol, has a 3,300 uh, peak. Okay, the, al the alcohol has a 3,300 peak around there. So if we're going from retinol to retinol, we're gonna have a disappearance of that 1,700 and an appearance of the 3,300. So this is wrong. We're gonna have an appearance of this. This is right. We're gonna have a appearance of that and have an appearance of 3,300. Okay, that's content review there. You should know that. Let's keep going. And that's the passage. Easy. Notice how easy that was? <laughs> Why you stressing? Relax. You got this. All right, if you guys are interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, go ahead to the comments section of this video. You're going to see a link. Click on that link. Fill out the interview. Okay, and we will uh, fill out the... Oh, my God. I cannot not talk. I'm talking so much today. All right, go to the comment section. Click on the link. Uh, fill out the questions, schedule an interview with me. We will, I will decide, you know, if we're a good fit to work with each other. If we are a good fit to work with each other, that is when I ask you to join MCAT University. And in there, I will make sure 100% that you hit your target score. You are covered in every single aspect of the MCAT. I'm talking about content review, make sure that you're incredibly good at breaking down passages, making sure you're not getting lost in the details, making sure you have the right schedule, all that stuff. And you have access to me. You can ask me questions at any time. So go ahead. Fill out that link so you can make sure you hit your target score. I'll see you guys in the next video.